What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ruler and guides in Filmora 13. With this feature, you can add horizontal lines and vertical lines on your preview window easily. So it is very useful if you want to positioning your template, your text or anything on the preview window. So that is the basic application of this function. You just want to position the text template and overlay or stuff like that on your preview window. Okay, by the way, currently I'm using Filmora 13.3.5. If you want to have this feature, you need to upgrade to this latest version. So you can download it at Filmora website or you can just upgrade inside the program. Okay, and this video is sponsored by Wondershare Filmora. All right, and let's go to my computer screen. Okay, and this is my Filmora 13.3.5 and you see I have a project here which is an example. This is my image and I have a position where I, I should have my logo, my channel logo and this is the lower third position. For example, I can play the video, it will look like this. So I always want to have the lower third at this position and the logo at this position. So now if I want, I can create a guide for this this one, this lower third position and logo for this position. Okay, for example, we can click at the preview window and you see I have all the guys here. This is green line for the logo and yellow line for the lower third. And this is the ruler, okay? And if you don't have this one, just right click here at the preview window and see like this rulers or you can press ctrl p with a uh, shortcut for this and after you turn on the rulers you have the guys option you can add guys hi guys and lock guys hopefully i pronounce it right guys okay so you want to lock the guys it will not change so you cannot click anything here on the on the screen okay just right click go to guy and unlock it and if you want to add any guys, for example, I want to add a guy here. I just want to right click and select add guy. And then I can select the color and direction and also the position for this. Okay. And there are many color here. And then you can click OK. So this is the guy, by the way, you can move it. Okay. To anywhere on the screen and you can right click and select delete, delete the guy. You can do the same, do the same for this add guy and okay and then you can move up and down okay and you can select it right click sorry just select it and right click and select delete it so this is how you can turn on and off the guy okay guy and ruler in your video now if i want to have another video and i should have uh, the same lower third at this position and the logo at this position so this is what we can do with the ruler and guy Okay, go back to my media, project media, and this is the intro for this tutorial. I can just put it right here and I can mute the audio. And Okay, for example, now I want to have a lower third here at this position and the logo at this position, but I want to have the exact position. So that's when the rulers and guy comes in. Okay, so we want to select here at the preview window and you see here this is the position for the lower third and this is the position for the logo. So we go back to our media and for example, I want to add this logo. I just want to drag and drop it here on the timeline and let's delete the effect for this. Okay, effect and filter and delete and now I can resize it and move it to this position. And you can see that it is snapping to my guys. So it is very interesting because we can snap it to, to this position for the logo. Okay. And now for the lower third, we can do the same. Just go to the title and maybe I can see like another lower third. This one. And then I want to move the preset to this position and resize it to this side and move the text to here. Okay, and change the text to my channel. That's nice, right? And now we have the same, the same lower third and the same logo at this position. It is similar to this video. Okay, so that's how to use ruler and guys in Filmora 13.3.5. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you still have any question about this function, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.